What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20. I'm back. Check us out. Um, I've got the RX Vega graphics card in there. I know I don't. I got the gra uh, Vega FE edition, you know, it's Founders Edition. And I've got it in there and it's running. And I can't get the fan speed to go up any higher. Too, uh, too bad. It's a pain in the butt, unfortunately. But I think I found a trick to get the fan speed to come up, even though it's not calling for it. So what I decided to do is go ahead and show everybody on YouTube how I just, uh, found that this actually works. So what I'm going to do is increase the power limit. And that's going to increase the temperature a little bit because the clock speed is going to maintain high clock speed. Now... The biggest thing about this is you want to bring the temperature down below a certain point. So you're going to want to dis, you know, deactivate the link. That way you can keep the power limit up to 50%. And if you go down here and look, our temperature right, bes right beside the screen, temperature GPU-C is 33 degrees. So we're going to bring this down to... 30. We're going to select OK. And for some reason, that starts increasing the fan speed automatically. Um, there's no way to control this fan speed. It's not, uh, it doesn't work properly for me. I can't figure out why. But it increases the fan speed. Uh, you know, it brings it straight to 71. Let's see if we can get any higher. If we can go down a little bit more, 28. How about 22? Uh, earlier, I had it up to 89%. Um, Not exactly sure why. Let's go ahead and uh, see. Uh, you know, it the core clock changes when it hits those points. It won't let you use it. Let's go ahead and start a minor and see if we can... Uh, see what's happening I was able to get my miner working I uh, downloaded the newest miner and then I uh, downloaded uh, Crimson Relive 17.7 uh, .7 and installed it and it seems to be working well um, so let's go here our, core, uh, our GPU temperature is what 30 degrees right now So here's our GPU temperatures right there. And it's it's building the DAG. It's going to, you know, kind of go up and down a little bit with this right here. But now it's it's actually mine, mining right here. We'll see what it is. 14.9, which is really low. And, you know, I can understand that. But once you bring its temperature back up, it'll bring it to, like... Uh, right at 31 and then select OK and it's going to maintain the temperature at 31 it's going to keep the clock pretty low to be honest with you probably and then it's going to bring it up to 15 but what we want is see how long it'll stay up to 69 so now we're up to 16 it's uh Bring the clock up just a little bit, 35. So now we're at 28. We've got our fan speed at 69%, and it's showing 70 right here. 76. See now, uh, we've got the fan speed up to 76%. And uh, for some reason, the fan speed is now at 76. It shows 76 there, 76 here. So it's not actually 69%, but, uh, you know, you can, see, you can monitor your fan speed right here and right here. It's bringing the fan speed right up. And then if you wanted to, you can bring the temperature up a little bit more. Let's go to, like, 37. And we're... Uh, Temperature's at 36 degrees, and the fan's at 76 degrees, 78. So if you slowly, incrementally bring up your uh, fan speed, 
See, we're at 79 now. So it continuously brings up our fan speed, which is pretty cool. Let's bring it up to uh, 38 degrees. And you can see our temperature is going up, of course, but also our fan speed is going up. So, you know, if we can keep right at that limit that our, our, our GPU is at, you know, what was at 38? Let's bring it to, you know, 39 and see if we can get any higher. So we're at 39 degrees and you know, now we're hashing at about 29 or so, which is still underclocked. Now, don't forget this is underclocked. We're going to bring us up to 1600. So let's do 43 and see how it acts. And see if we can get it past 79. I, I really don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, but I know we're at 1600. See, that's, I think that's the, the tricky part about it. You got to bring it really close to 1600. So we're going to bring this up to 1050 megahertz. And that, that brought our speed down just a little bit. So let's see. We're still at 79. Our clock speed, our hash rate is at 31.848. Uh, you know, which is kind of cool. You bring up the temperature limit to where it cuts off and runs. It will maintain temperature. You know, you just got to, you know, so we're going to go from 43. We're going to go to 46. And now we're back up to 1600. And this should improve somewhat so we're at 32.066 and that's hashing uh you know but um hashing is definitely a lot more intensive than a video game is so if you used to dial in hashing i would dial back a little bit for your ram whenever you're going to be playing your games because uh it it'll, it'll start bringing out your your uh, funny looking uh textures and stuff so I mean, it's showing a 78% fan speed, and, uh, you know, it's maintaining 45 degrees. Uh, you know, we're past 45 degrees, which is the important part. As long as we're not reaching this point, I think the fan speed will maintain that temperature for you. You can see how the temperature, you know, the, the hash rate goes up and down with these cars. It's not real stable with these cars. And I think that's got a lot to do with the heat uh, dissipation. Uh, this is a water-cooled card as well, so if you guys didn't know. But, I mean, in general, I've got uh, a push-pull type setup on this card. I put my hand on it. It's not warm at all, hardly. I mean, it, it's warm, but it's not, you know, hot. So, you know, we, we, could, uh, we could definitely go a bit higher with the clock. Let's go to 1650. And that'll probably bring our temperature up. Right there it is, 46 degrees, and it starts backing off right there. So if it's going to be backing off, we just bring the temperature up slightly to 48. So, bam, we're at 48. Now it maintains its overclock and keeps the fan speed up higher. I'm not exactly sure why they done this, but they're, they're putting the the limit all the way to the right so the card gets really hot and i just don't think that's a really good idea um you know more is better if you ask me so this is how i'm getting my uh, fan speed to maintain higher temperatures you can see it's at 46 degrees now and i have it overclocked a little bit and let, let's go to 1675 and let's see how that works listen it also increased the ram a tad bit let's go to 1083 so that's going to increase the ram speed and then bam we're at 32.8 for that right there and our uh, temperature is at 46 47 it goes up and down 46 47 degrees so now we're uh, hashing between 32 and 33 hash rate which isn't really that good you know it's showing that we're dropping our fan speed again so this is a point where it's gonna like really kind of just stay around that area 
you know, this is for the water cooled versions. Your very your mileage may vary for the air cooled. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. If you know you wanted to uh, do something with your air cooled, um, it might work similarly. You're just probably going to be at a higher temperature, so you may want to try to work something out with this. And I apologize to making a long video. I just want to show you how I got my fan speed running at uh, 77, 78 uh, percent. I had it up to 89%, not exactly sure how, but you know, as long as it's working and playing games or hashing whatever you want, and that's what you want. But this is uh, just, you know, you can see how it drops sometimes. So we're gonna see if we can get this up to 50. So this fan speed will probably drop now. So we're at 50 degrees GPU Celsius, you know, 47 degrees on the GPU, and it seems to look pretty stable at that point. And the cooler is warm, but it's not hot. And you know, like I said, I got a push-pull configuration, you know, pulling air and pushing air through. All right, so. We, we're, we have lowered to 76%, but, you know, normally this card runs at, like, uh, without changing any of that, it will run at a much, much, much higher temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and reset everything back again. And our fan speed is now maintaining, or, or slowly dropping, apparently. So... Let's uh, drop that, deactivate that, put that back at zero, and it's going to force it to underclock because right now we're saying, hey, it's really hot, you got to bring the temperature up, I mean, br bring the temperature down. So we said, you know, 47 degrees without overclocking, it should be plenty for it. And to maintain that temperature, it's going to, you know, equalize. But thanks again for watching. This is Phil 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. Peace out.